What is up guys, it's Nick. We are back and we're back at Elric Shrine again. And so, yeah, people told me I was not in the right spot. And so we are going to go find the good farm spot at Elric Shrine. Hopefully there's not a bunch of people there. Um, and we're going to hit level 57 in this episode, so that's cool. Let's get let's get on our horse and start moving. I believe I have to I have to remember if it's the I think it's the other way. I found it I found it last night, but I can't remember because there's the double path here. So we're gonna I think it's this way. It's this way. I'm pretty sure it's this way. I'm probably wrong, but we're going this way. And if it's not this way, we'll come back, and I know it's the other way, but I'm pretty... I know what it looks like when we get there, and I'm pretty sure it's this way. I think we come up here, and I... Yeah, I, it's this way. So we can kill these guys. Gotta kill guys anyway, because we're trying to get to 57. This isn't going to be too long of an episode, just because... What I'm trying to do is just get to 57 and show this area that I didn't show in the last video. So, there's a little ramp over here, and we're going to take this bad boy up top. If I can get over that rock. And here's where the real fun starts. So, you get up here, and it doesn't even look like it's that big of a deal on the map. But, it opens, it's going to open up here. Hold on. So, we're going to come up this hill. You can already start seeing the one big cluster here. And then the map's just going to get all sorts of filled up in a second here. So we're almost to 57. I'm currently in the middle of my... I don't know if this video will come out before or after the, uh, the Thousands video. But, yeah. That's what I'm in the middle of right now when I'm recording this. But I thought I'd do a video for 57. I thought this worked out perfectly. We can get to 57, and I can show this route on Elric that I didn't come to before. And this is this is definitely way nicer than regular Elric. Hey, buddy. Chill, Decayed Swamp Monster. Calm it down. But yeah, you can see, just look at all of the mob density here. It is crazy up here. This is, this is a great farm. And I'm happy you guys, thanks to the two... Um, the two guys on the previous video for Elvric Shrine that that showed me, or to not showed me, but told me about this, because I would have never found it. And so I'm very, very thankful to you guys for uh, letting me know. Okay, kill that. And it just goes on for a decent ways here, just plenty of stuff to farm. So I will definitely be coming back here if I decide to go for the belt again. I'm not sure what I'm doing with belt, but I am almost just want to go with uh, like a really good belt and just forget getting the Asula belt, but never really know. I'm kind of indecisive right now on it. Okay, so let's do my favorite attack. Let's jump over here. Okay, I don't have that many people. Lag, game lag. Just love that attack. And I love how you come out of it so you come out of it so smooth. It's so pretty. And there we go. Level 57. And we can learn some new skills. So we're gonna finish this rotation, and then I've got a couple of things to do before we end this episode. Kill them off. Look at all of these new skills at 57. Absolute Darkness released. Bake? Beak kick? I just said bake. Beak kick. Oh my gosh, I can't read. But there's so much up here. This is such a nice farm area. We'll come over here now. And it, it makes a general circle back to that guy to turn in the quest. I'm I'm not doing that quest right now just because I just don't I I got all the I got the 6. I came up here and farmed this for a little bit and I was able to get the 6 seals that I needed to get that that item, so I actually didn't have to do that again. Or I don't have to do that again if I don't want to. 
It might be worth it to sell, but I'm not quite sure. I wish I would stop getting these stupid empty boxes. Because, like, look at this. I have seven empty boxes, two heartfelt letters, and two package ribbons. Can I get something that's not the empty box, please? Please, game? So, yeah, that's kind of the end of that. So, let's... Let's just head on back. Is this going to kill me? That's a... Okay, good. That was a far jump. But we got to our 57, but that area is really nice up there. I'll definitely be going there again, and I'll be going there on future characters, because that is a... That's really nice, and never coming to Elric Shrine before, it's uh, kind of disappointed I never did, because it's, it's a pretty good farm. It's no thousands, obviously, but it's still a really good farm. And I could probably argue it's not a Helms or an Abandoned Iron Mine, but it's still really good up there. There's still some practice that I need to do to figure out the perfect circle, but that is really nice up there. Okay, so let's go back to the Hut of Shame over here. Spin to win through these guys. That. Okay. Let's come in here. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to processing, simple alchemy, and we're going to cook these bad boys up real quick. Cook two of them up, and we're going to pop them open right now. See what we can get. Get these jolly gift boxes going. I'm happy I got enough to do two. Okay. So let's pop them open. I've had some pretty bad luck with these, so not expecting a whole lot out of it. But let's see. We'll open them continuously. Let's see, we're going to pop this one at 22 seconds. Pop it. Ugh, oh, got garbage. Eh, memory fragment actually isn't that terrible. I expect the music box. And, I eh, Cronestone. Yeah, see, I just, like, I haven't been having good luck with them. I think I've opened, like, six of them now. And the best as I got was the uh, Marcus Shadow Ring. Which, out of the stuff that you can get out of that is not very good. But we're still farming, and so we'll get more opportunities at, at that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our level 57 skills. I'm going to get back in this corner with this guy, just in case something decides to run in. Okay, so our main skills. Is there anything new that I think I need to get? Uh, I'm actually not seeing it. I could grab like this stuff. Increased AP against monsters. It's only 5. I have 94. The increased health is interesting. Invasion evasion rate let's see about our awakening so we got dead hunt too which obviously i use that a decent amount we have nightmare backward moving uh hello what's vile plan oh yeah i use this thing i gotta grab vile plan um I'm going to grab Dead Hunt 2. I think I'm going to grab Nightmare. I mean... What's that? Oh. Okay, so... Okay, we're going to let this cool down real quick. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm down for that attack. Ooh, and it has a pretty... Has a pretty quick recharge on it. I'm down for that skill. Okay, so this skill... It's kind of a charged Grim Reaper's Judgment. And so this, you kind of go, kind of turn into this form. And then you kind of explode out of it. I want to try it one more time. So we got to wait out this 10 seconds. I want to try it one more time. And I want to try it... I want to try it with a different button. Okay. So if I do this, what if I do right trigger out of it? Eh... Ooh, you can aim that out of it, too. That's really nice. So, hold on. Give this a second. I guess I'll do this attack again just for fun. Ooh, that has some range to it. That has some range to it. That's not bad at all. Okay. So, you can aim this thing. So, like, okay, so I'm facing this way now, but if I want to attack 
over there. If I just aim it, that's actually really nice. I like that. So if you recoil into that and then burst out of it, you can change where you're bursting. You don't have to burst out immediately forward. That's nice. I like that. I like that. Now the question is, do I just want to save stuff here? Um, movement distance of what? Oh, of this. Okay. Sinister Omen. That's not a bad attack, but I don't think I need to do that. I should probably grab Spirit Absorption. Crow food. Crow food would be nice if I was, like, PvPing, because it gives you invincibility frames. It's 13. I'm going to pick it up. I'm actually going to pick it up. I'm going to grab Skilled Hunter 2. And I think I want to get... I think I want to get... Eh, I don't think I need that. I'm going to save my 13 skill points, or my 33 skill points for more Awakening-related stuff. Uh, as we level up, because there's stuff at level 58, so I'm going to hold on to that for now. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. We picked up two, we picked up a couple brand new skills. We got this one. Ooh, this one's nice. You can turn this one too. It's not locked to right in front of you. And then we got this one, which I really like. Ooh, you can move a little bit in that skill too. So I like both of those skills that we picked up for our scythe. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Short little video, but we went to the Elric Shrine. And once again, thank you guys for letting me know about that. I thoroughly appreciate it. Uh, anything you guys let me know, uh, just know I always appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.